Hi, Chris here for Thank you Tech and welcome to the channel. Well, today it's all about Excel for beginner. This is part two, so let's get started now. And pick up where we stopped in our previous lesson. That if you missed it, not to worry, you will have a link in the description down below for you. If you remember, our previous lesson was all about the ribbon and summarizing what each type was about. So to continue the tutorial where we stopped last time, there was one type that we did not speak about and this is the first one here, name file. That can be found in the upper left corner right here, like so. And when you click on it, you can see that we have completely different layout than the other types. Let me show you, if you didn't see the previous video, you can clearly see the difference. And do not worry here if your version of Excel do not look exactly like that, as depending on the version that you have, it might look different. But not to worry, as the main command will be similar, so you can continue the video, you will be able to follow. Okay, the first button here, it's the save one. And this is because when you start a new workbook, you have to decide when and where you want to save it. And this is until you decide to do so. As you can see, there is nothing to save for now. So let's do that and see what's happened. And as you can see, when you do so, it asks you where you wish to save the file. So here we are in my document, but you may as well change if you want to by hovering in this side here on the left. You can see you can go up and you can save it on the desktop or even in the download folder. You may as well save it to a different medium like an USB or a different hard disk. And the file name section here is to allow you to change the name. So we will change that to book2, click save and as soon as we did that, I don't know if you noticed but the book1 has changed to book2 here. And if we go to file info, you can see more information of where you save your file and you will notice the name has changed as well. There is now another way for you to save using the shortcut from your keyboard. Using the PC, we'll use the control key, which are those two labeled CTRL simultaneously with the S key, like so. And the last way to change, which will be valid only if there was a change into your workbook, it's I simply have to close this workbook. So allow me to make the change, right? Then I can delete this, and once I do so, you can see you have the option to save among other things if you want to. But for now we can save as there is nothing to save here. The next one after that. If we go to file we see it's save as and this will allow us to change in a different format. So let's click on that and see how it looks like. And we have a similar window like before. The only difference if you look here on the bottom right corner, you have this small arrow that when you click on it, a drop down list appears. There is much more here, but to fit in the screen, I had to cut it off. And here you have the options to save an earlier version of window. And this is especially useful if somebody uh, cannot open the file because they have an older version of Excel. Or you can save as a PDF among other formats that there is. But for now, we'll just stick with this. I'll show you if you want to save in an earlier version of Excel, simply select the Excel 97 2003 workbook. When I click on it, you will see the workbook disappear, the one I had already. And this is because this will be a different file format. You can at this time rename if you want to, but we will click save for now. We can verify that we save correctly by going to file, go down all the way to recent. And you can see we have two different files with two different extensions. So we are successful in saving in a different format. So just after the save as, we have the open button. This allows us to decide which Excel file to open. So we can click on it and this window appears. Then you can navigate. I will close this because we can also use the keyboard shortcut, which is Ctrl plus O simultaneously. This will give us the same result as before, but it is faster. You may have noticed that the drop down list next to the file name is empty. And this is because we haven't selected any workbook to open. Once we do so, you can see that the town is populated with the file that you want to open. So now you can see that when I do that, we still have our two files with two different extensions, the XLS and the XLSX. 
Once we click on open, the file is there. And we can see it's in compatibility mode because of the file format that we save it as. But it will allow the person who share the file with to be able to open it. That is it for today. Thank you for watching the video. And just to let you know, I start with a Patreon where if you want, you can support me. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your YouTube things like if you want to subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so I will try to for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!